Yes, good evening. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, go down and smash a like on the video before we let loose. And make sure if you're new around here, you have hit that subscribe button and notification bell. I told absolutely everyone. I told Lee Gunner. I told all of TikTok. I told all of YouTube, all of Twitter, all my friends. I told everyone, even with the amount of injuries that we have got, Tottenham will still go to the Etihad and get a draw. I said it all the way through the watch long. If you tune in for the watch long, big up to your damn self. We had four fullbacks. Your doggy, Royale, Davis, and Porro. Four fullbacks. No Benson Core, no Madison, no Romero, and no Van der Ven. No Solomon, no Perisic. Right? Richarlison was on the bench. Giovanni this also turns up. The last time I saw someone dunk on someone the way Kulazewski did to Ake, it was Michael Jordan in his prime back in 96, 97 when they did back to back championships. It was like Shaquille O'Neal dunking on Russell Westbrook. It was an absolute embarrassment of a header that was. Obviously, for the fullback. Right, let's get into it. City three, Tottenham three. What a game. If you're a neutral fan, what a game that is. If you're a neutral fan. If you're a Spurs fan, it was it was heart in mouth moments. But the mentality is changing. We go 1-0 up. City equalise. City go 2-1 up. We equalise. City go 3-1 up. We equalise. Eight shots. Four on target. 44% possession. 465 passes at the Etihad. Only two less corners in the City. We had eight. They had ten. Now, don't get me wrong. City had a lot, a lot of chances. Haaland, has anyone seen that guy? He should have bagged a hat-trick today. In so many chances. Absolutely. Fuming son at the end of that game. He was fuming. But you still can't score against us. You still can't beat a City. Even with 10 or 11 injuries, City can't beat us. Arsenal went to the Etihad last year, completely folded, you know? And once again, draw Chester City have just drawn their last three games, which was against Chelsea, Liverpool and us. And they got Villa up on Wednesday. And I'm going to say it right now, if Man City play like they did against us, Villa will beat them at home. It's what Villa do. Um, all, all, all the all the negativity. We're only six points off of top. 28 goals scored. Only Brighton, Liverpool, City and Villa have scored more goals than us. But let's get into the game. The lineup I'm going to bring up on screen. Um, I can't believe that with this lineup, right, and this bench, I'm going to show you in a minute. Right, we have gone and got a draw against Manchester City. Vicario, four fullbacks, and three of those fullbacks were booked. Your doggy, Davis, Royale, Porro, Lacelso, Basuma, Johnson, Kulu, Hill, and Son. Right, that is our, that was our eleven. Our bench, we had. Look at the difference in bench. They had Grealish, Rico, Lewis, Phillips, Stones, Ake, and Kovacic to bring on. We had Skip, Hoiberg, Richarlison, Jamie Donnelly, an academy player, a goalkeeper, basically another academy player in Valise, another goalkeeper, another academy player, and another academy player. We had basically had four academy players on the bench. And somehow, some way, we've gone to Manchester, we've gone up north to the Etihad, and somehow, some way, we have gone and got a draw. We drew to Manchester City with that squad. Um, let's be honest. The, the first goal come against the run of play. It was a corner. Brian Hill did magnificently. I didn't think he did too good. I've just watched the goal back. Spam. Played the ball forward. We broke Kulisevsky with a long ball up to, uh, up to Hume in Son. I think Kulisevsky got a goal and an assist today um, against Manchester City. We go 1-0 up. Yeah, it was a Kulazewski assist in the sixth minute. And we did Kulazewski did that two years ago at the Etihad. Had a goal and an assist against Manchester City. This guy loves loves turning up against them. Loves turning up against them. Um, 
and yeah, we 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 went one nil up, and then after that, uh, <laughs> a minute, not even a couple of minutes later, I think it was a few minutes later, Human Son managed to put one in the back of his net from a set piece, and I was like, oh, here we go. Then City go two one up. I mean, they, they had a chances. I think um, Doku hit the bar. Um, then Foden scored from Alvarez. The defending for that goal was absolutely shambolic, by the way. The way Foden and Alvarez both run for in the middle of our defence, no one watching. We don't concede that goal if we've got Romero and Van de Ven. Um, and then we we go into half time, 2-1 down. Destiny, your doggy gets booked at the end. And I'm like, oh, here we go. We go out, every, Lee Gunner, and everyone was like, oh, you know what? You're going to get steamrolled. You're going to get steamrolled. Picario made a great save in around the 60th minute. He made some, he took off Doku for Grealish, Pep. Grealish then gets booked. Um, Lacelso scores in the 69th minute. Son plays it into him. Lacelso shifts it onto his left hand side or whips one into the back sticks. And that's two goals in his last two games one against Villa and one against Manchester City, becoming a very, very important player for us considering Mad Madison's absence. Um, I didn't necessarily agree with, with taking Lacelso off in the 79th minute, but he brought an Ollie skip. Um, City then go 3-2 up from Jack Grealish um, in the 81st minute. But the mentality to keep going and battle and fight to the very, 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 very end. And once again, we did that. We scored in the 90th minute. No one in the top five leagues has got more goals in the 90th minute more than Tottenham Hotspur. And that is due to the mentality Postal Koglu is trying to implement his play to the very, very, very end. And yes, you could say everyone should do that, but it's not as easy as that. Um, and Brandon Johnson gets the assist and Kulazeski absolutely dunks on Ake when we go 3-3. Three, three. And that's late goals, two late goals against Sheffield United, one late goal against, Ar uh, not against Arsenal, against uh, Liverpool. Another late goal against Manchester City. Um, you know, I thought that December was going to be an extremely tough month for us. Now we've got West Ham on Thursday. And I think, I'll be honest, I think we will beat West Ham. I'm going to say it right now. I think we will beat West Ham. I'm going to say it right now. Um, let me know your thoughts if you haven't already um, on the game. Let me know your thoughts on Son's performance. Um, I thought overall he was a little bit. I know he got the assist um, for. Uh, he got the assist for um, the Tilsos goal early in Haaland, by the way, screaming in the referee to his face, saying that he should have let play carry on. Um, the referee, I thought, actually had a very good game. Um, you could say City were hard done by and City deserved to win, but Manchester City, whether you like it or I like it or anyone else likes it, could not be a Tottenham team that had nearly a full 11 of injuries. And we're without four of our first team players. If you look at the 11 that played against Liverpool back in September, when we beat Liverpool 2-1 on the 30th of September, let me show you the team that we played today and the team that um, played against Liverpool. Let's bring up the Liverpool team, right? Romero was in that game. Van de Ven was in that game. Saar was in that game. Madison was in that game. And Richarlison was in that game. So half of the 11 that we played against Liverpool did not play today. Let's go down to the bench, right? We didn't have Solomon. We didn't have... Um, we Yeah, we didn't have Solomon on the bench. Solomon wasn't available today. Look at Liverpool's bench. They can bring on Trent. They can bring on Gravenberch. They can bring on Jota. They can bring on Canato. They can bring on Darwin Nunes. They can bring on Simakas. Um, they 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 can bring on um, they can bring on five or six half decent or relatively good football players. And with us, our bench today was basically non-existent. And I think I think people need to start giving us a little bit more credit. You know. We haven't lost, other than Chelsea, a top six game this season. We've beaten Manchester United. We've drew to City. We've drew to Arsenal. We've beaten Liverpool. We've only lost to Chelsea. Out of all the big six games we've played. You know? 
beating Liverpool drew to Arsenal. Our away record has been fairly good this year. We've only lost against Wolves, really. We beat Palace. We've drew to City. We've we've beaten Luton. We've cut, we've drew with Arsenal. We've beaten Burnley. We've beaten Bournemouth. We've drew with Brentford. We've probably got one of the best away records in the league. And I think, honestly, we need to give Ange Postacoglu some credit. He's playing with so many injuries. And let's be honest, we didn't go and spend hundreds and hundreds of millions of pounds in the window. And we're probably not going to go and spend hundreds and hundreds of millions of pounds in this window. We're playing with a, with a, with a let's, be, let's be honest, a bit of a depleted squad. And here we are. Here we are. We're here. Um... I think we need to give him some credit. Honestly, I do. I think we need to give Ange Postacoglu some huge, huge credit here. You know, we go with Manchester City. Look at the state of that bench. Four academy players, two goalkeepers on it. Richarlison back on the bench. When we go in against West Ham, if we beat West Ham at the weekend on Thursday, which I think we will, um, and Villa and City drop points, which I think they could because it could be a draw, we will go above them both. Oh, we'll definitely go above Villa. Well, actually, no, we, we probably won't. We, we'll be in and around there. But, you know, then we've got Newcastle a week today. Um, but it's a good start to the month. We drew with Manchester City. No one gave us a chance. Everyone wrote us off. You're in the mud. You're a typical deluded Tottenham fan, I've been told. X, Y, Z. You know. And we're here. We're still here. We're still here. You know. No one gave us a chance. Absolutely no one gave us a chance. You're going to get battered. You don't know what you're talking about. You're deluded. I, I think, honestly, we, we, we need to we need to give Ange Postacoglu some credit. Some credit. I really do. My manager. My manager, that is. You know? Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I think we need to, to give him the keys now. I'll be honest. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. It's another week, another result. We got a game in four days' time, and then a game three days after that. Um, the game against um, Newcastle is, I believe, is that four? That is a four thirty kickoff. So we will be there for that as well. Um, and yeah, let me let me know your thoughts if you haven't already. Make sure you do smash a like on the video. But as it stands, Tottenham currently sit above Newcastle by a point above Manchester United. Um, we've had a bit of a tough run. Losing to Wolves, losing to Chelsea, losing to Villa. But now hopefully we can be back on, on, on the right track um, when you look at if we can beat West Ham, which I think we will, that result that result today probably kind of springboards us back up there. Um, and I think we need to just give Ange Postacoglu the keys to do the tools, to do the job. And yeah, I, I believe I believe in this this manager, which needs to go and spend a few quid in the transfer market. But look, I am going to wrap up. I see you all soon, people. Thank you all for watching. I.